الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحب في الله It's important as a reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters the importance of wudu the importance of tahara as we're studying tahara currently in salat but it's just a reminder of the importance of that wudu and that's an important an important way of seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala In the hadith of Uthman ibn Affan radiyallahu ta'ala anhu And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with all the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Qal, qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Man tawadda'a fa'ahsana wudu Kharajat khatayahu min jizidihi hatta takhraj من تحت أظافره رواه مسلم. This is a hadith in Sahih Muslim. أحببت في الله. And it's a hadith of Uthman ibn Affan رضي الله تعالى عنه, who said that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said, whoever makes a perfect wudu, then his sins will be removed from his body even from under his fingernails. Ruahu Muslim. This shows us the importance of wudu. And that wudu is not just a physical endeavor, but it's a spiritual endeavor. It's a spiritual act of worship. That not only is it physical, but it is also spiritual that you are removing spiritual impurities if you perfect your wudu and so it, it is an encouragement if nothing else from this hadith of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam to do your utmost and take your time and be meticulous about your wudu because so often it is easy for us to neglect making a good wudu and being cautious about our wudu many of us are careless we almost just splash water on ourselves and splash water all over the place and we are not careful about washing the limbs that are required to be washed and being conscious even of why we're washing and that there are blessings and forgiveness and expiation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the one who perfects his wudu. And so it is imperative, Ahabita Filah, that we are conscious and we remember this hadith and we strive our best to perfect our wudu and come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah put this on our scales of good deeds and bless us to practice this. Bless us with ilm al nafiyah, wa rizqin tayyibah, wa amalan mutakabbilan, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana.